Hey guys, this is Mama Made. Welcome back to another Coupon Topic Tuesday video. I have a whole bunch of these linked in the playlist in the description box below. So definitely check that out if you're new to my channel and watch the ones that would be of interest to you. I'm always up for suggestions of new topics or questions or things that you'd like for me to discuss in a video. So feel free to leave those also in the comments below. And let's go ahead and get started with today's topic. So today we're going to talk about when the deals are slow. Sometimes in couponing, we'll go through slow time periods. Like I feel like July is usually kind of slow. Maybe end of July, beginning of August, something like that kind of seems like it's a slow time. Um, I feel like the week of Christmas is kind of slow. Um, Maybe the week of Thanksgiving in the drugstores. Usually the week of Thanksgiving at the grocery stores is pretty good. Um, but there's definitely slow times. But there's also been slow ads. When you look at an ad, maybe it's not as big as it normally is. Or maybe it's just as long, but the deals are boring. There's no free deals. Maybe I bought it's just been kind of slow, not a bunch of new rebates. The rebates aren't matching up with the sales. Um, we have these times when the deals are slow, when the weeks are slow. Um, that happens. I usually, when I do my giant ad preview, if it looks like a slow week, I usually will say this is not an exciting ad. Um, but we definitely have these times. And what can you do when it's a slow week? Well, there's a couple of different things you can do. Some people just choose to take the week off and don't even bother with it, which is great. That is fine. Um, you know, give yourself a break if you feel like, you know, you have everything you need. You don't need to run to the store. Just take off a week. It's a slow week anyway. It's fine. I have done that in the past. I personally still like to go out because it's my, I don't know, get to go out shopping without kids moment and it only happens once a week so I still take advantage of that time um, but something to keep in mind when the deals are slow don't just grab the okay deals um, just because it's a slow week don't waste your money on deals like that just because you feel like you need to do some deals um, save your money it's actually kind of good on the couponing budget if you have a week where the deals are slow. Now, it's not good if you have store rewards about to expire that week and the deals are slow. That's horrible. I've been in that situation and it's like, what am I supposed to grab? The deals are horrible and I need to not make them go to waste. So then you do have to take advantage of the okay deals or maybe grab things that you just need aren't necessarily a great deal maybe try to add in a coupon or a rebate or something like that so you could definitely take a week off or you might need to go and roll the roll your rewards on things that you don't necessarily need but i just think something to keep in mind when the deals are slow don't do the bad deals just because you feel like you need to go couponing or whatever slow slow weeks happen they come and go I personally love exciting weeks where there's so many deals, so many options, so many scenarios. It's super fun. But keep in mind with couponing, like anything else, it has cycles where it kind of just dies off and it's a little slow and then it comes back on fire maybe the next week or the next two weeks or something like that. So just hang in there. If you kind of get like a couponing slump where you're just not excited about the deals, they'll come back. All right, guys, let me know in the comments below your thoughts on this topic, and I will see you in the next video.